this tattoo? It's this goddamn tattoo. It gives you powers. It, it, it's stealing my power right now. Oh man. It's Max Major and this is episode 96 of the vlog. Getting dangerously close to episode 100. Yesterday, I actually filmed one of my all-time favorite vlogs. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. I get tied up by a Marine, and he absolutely wrecks me. I'm still covered in like rope burn and temporary tattoos. That's not a real tattoo. I think I'm finally to the point where vlogging is no longer a chore, and it's something that I actually really enjoy. I'm having so much fun making these videos, and Sundays are my favorite because that means I get to take your questions. So right now, it's time for Major Questions. Question coming in from Wolfgang underscore Lupos on Twitter. He wants to know, do you do any exercises to boost your motivation? If you're talking about physical exercises, like working out, the answer is no. Although I do think that having great physical energy is something that can help you uh, sort of stay motivated. Um, however, true motivation comes from doing something that you love. And I think that if you're struggling with motivation, I've talked about this a lot in past vlogs, but it really comes down to knowing what it is that you're passionate about. And so you could do some exercises regarding identifying your passion. One of the great ways to do that is to stay busy, to do a lot of things, to get involved in as much as possible. And when you find something that speaks to you, to really listen to that. Dakota Tidwell on Twitter wants to know, if you could go back in time and you had the option to change one thing in your life, what would you change and why? This is going to sound very cliche, but the truth is I wouldn't change anything. You know, I firmly believe that where I am in my life is a direct result of everything that came before it. I'm not one of those people that believes that everything happens for a reason, but just as a sheer matter of cause and effect, I am sitting in front of this camera right now because of choices I have made in my life because of events that have happened in my life, both good and bad. And I am so happy with where I am right now that I wouldn't want to change anything before it because I wouldn't want to affect my place in life. At Larry Cable Girl on Twitter wants to know, do you believe you're an alien? Sarah Adams on Facebook asks, sorry if this is a repeat, when you watch other magicians, do you always know how they perform their acts or no? Short answer is I do not. Uh, I get fooled often and it is actually a fantastic feeling. I really love going to magic shows. I love it as much as I did when I was a little kid uh, just seeing magic for the first time. But that feeling you get when you are fooled as a magician is an awesome feeling that you don't experience often enough. And so, yes, I get fooled, not as often as I used to, but I'm also not trying to actively figure out every trick that I see. I really do just try and enjoy it. Question on Instagram from Codester2013. He wants to know, how do you keep up your workout routine amongst a busy as heck schedule? Cody, good question. You have to make time, and the way you do that is by making it a priority. You know, the things that are shoulds in your life oftentimes get left behind when you're super busy. It's the musts in your life that have to happen. The other thing about working out is the more that you go to the gym, the better it feels, and there comes a turning point, usually for me, it's about three weeks into a new workout, where you actually miss it if you don't go. Next question comes in from Twitter from Dr. Mike the Second. He says, I want you to find an answer as to why they made the weekend only two days long and why Sunday evening is so awful. I can't agree with you. Um, I have no issue with the length of the week or the weekend because the truth is, I spend every day doing exactly what it is that I love. There's no real difference to me between a Saturday and a Wednesday. If I want to go out with my friends on a Wednesday, I do it. If I want to work on a Saturday, I do it. Sunday's also fantastic day of the week. One of my favorites, so not sure what's going on for you, man, but maybe it's time to make a change. Keith on Facebook wants to know, now that the Ravens are 0-3, when will they win a game? Or will they be the first to go winless all season? Prediction from a mentalist, Ravens will win against the Steelers in this Thursday's upcoming game. That is a fact. 
That's it for major questions. Remember, you can send these to me anytime using hashtag major questions on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You don't have to wait until I put out a request for questions. And then I can just queue these up every Sunday and film a little episode and give you a shout out. Uh, also, try to give away a prize each week for the best question. And the best question this week comes from Sarah Adams on Facebook. Sarah, thank you for your awesome question about what it's like to watch a magic show as a magician. Hopefully you like the answer. Pick me, cause I'm eating.